SRTP and TLS. What are they? I'll give you a hint. The S stands for super important. Security. It stands for security. Secure real-time transport protocol and transport layer security go together like peanut butter and jelly. These two protocols work together to encrypt your phone calls in modern phone systems. To really understand them though, we need a brief history lesson on how media worked in the past and even what media is. Media is a blanket term for content being transmitted. This is commonly audio and video. Media is almost exclusively transmitted in real time, opposed to not <laughs> real time. Basically, real time media is transmitted as it's generated. Unlike loading a web page or downloading a file, which are sent in chunks and assembled into the final product after all the data has been received, without real time media, the best we'd be able to do is have an audio conversation like we check our voicemail, which is not ideal for communicating efficiently. Back in the analog days, media was sent as electronic waves over a wire. Phones would translate those waves into audio and play it through a speaker, real time. Now that phone systems send media over an IP network, analog waves aren't an option, so enter the real time transport protocol, or RTP. RTP uses one of various codecs, which are basically rules for how the analog audio is converted into binary, so it can be transmitted on an IP network. Codecs do this by sampling the analog media as binary snapshots. The more snapshots the codec makes, the higher the quality and usually the higher the packet size. The problem is, RTP can easily be captured in a packet sniffer on the network and rebuilt, putting your phone calls in jeopardy of being listened in on. By utilizing SRTP, remember the S stands for sexy, you can encrypt the media being handled by RTP, protecting your phone calls from snoopers. TLS is utilized in the other part of the phone call. TLS sits on top of a protocol like SIP, which is transmitting information like who are you calling and when did you call them. So if you want to protect your call history, you want to use TLS. TLS also ensures that attackers can't pose as friendly phone systems and make expensive long distance calls on your dime. Again, typically, utilizing TLS implies you're also utilizing SRTP. This technically is not a requirement, but encrypting one without the other does not really make sense. So that's SRTP and TLS. They work very closely with protocols like SIP, which actually establishes the phone call in a phone system. If you want to know how SIP works, I invite you to take my Udemy course, Introduction to SIP. Use the coupon code TA-YouTube for 50% off. Click the screen to go there now, or use the link in the description below. Thanks for watching! I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information in the technology space. Like this video if you liked it, dislike this video if you disliked it, leave a comment if your emotions are more complex than that. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.